where the good parties are or whatever. A community builder, a lifesaver, I suppose that could be. The tour guide function I think is interesting. How many of you are, is anybody using like a geolocation as part of their web thing? So that would mean are you using say a four square where somebody comes to your place and then they click in? Okay, so this is a controversial area. I think people like geolocation, but just by the same token that it can be really useful and fun, it can have a lot of risks. Because if I set my phone, it's mainly mobile phones, if I set my phone to track my location, like a lot of times that's fine. But if you were running a domestic abuse shelter, you would not want to have geolocation because someone could have spent months getting out from under a stalker and then as soon as you say, oh yeah, why don't you check in at the site, that would blow the thing for you. Um, one thing, like South by, this is on my mind because it's South by Southwest, it's huge and you want to meet people. So at a thing like that, if you have a national convention and it's very large, you could be using something like Foursquare where somebody checks in and says, I'm in the Rosebud room or I'm in the Marriott part of the convention. They can use it to link up with each other when they're far away. Uh, but yes, there's a banjo is another one where you sign in a banjo and then it traces you around and the idea would be you would want to meet people. So, you know, again, you have to be very careful with that, but there might be situations if you had a parade or something, you might want people to put on banjo and then you would almost have like a record of a whole bunch of people like at that event. But you want to remind them to turn it off. And we'll talk uh, in a minute about um, augmented reality. Now that's really far out. Does anybody know what augmented reality is? So because I can geotag something, because I can know in space, and that's it's tied to, to satellites. And this came about particularly because after 9-11, um, all phones were required to have the ability to say where the person was because they said like in emergencies they couldn't find it. So this is like a federal regulation. So you're, you can turn that on and off, but all phones have that. And that would be like, so if you make a 911 call, they can have a better chance of actually finding where you are. And um, so some people have been experimenting with putting pictures. So I, uh, this spot where I'm standing now has a geolocation, right? It has a latitude and longitude. I could put a picture here in one of these services like Layer, and then I could say, come to Layer and see where I spoke last week. So that's kind of a trivial example. So you would see it on your phone. You would come in the room, and you would see the room empty because it's tomorrow and there's nobody in here. And you would look on your phone in this layer and you'd see, oh, there's Barbara. She's standing in a picture of her where she was. Now, a better example might be, uh, let's say you were involved in a, a group that does like, like the Historical Society, the Historical Museum. They could go to every building in Chicago that, you know, the big ones that have been torn down are wonderful architectural landmarks, and they could have a thing where you stand in front of the new building and you see a photo of what that building looked like before the fire or looked like in past times. So that's coming. I'm just going to mention that as a teaser. So when you hear augmented reality or AR, you know what it is. Mainly I've seen this like, there's a lot of young men that like custom sneakers. Okay, so I don't know if you know about this. So they like these Nikes and some of the sneaker companies, they just make a few of these sneakers and they can be ridiculously expensive. But they will like, they'll put pictures of the new, the new shoe out in Central Park or something. And then, you know, a bunch of young men will go to this location in Central Park and they'll be able to see on their phones. And then they, of course, when you see your phone, they usually make you opt in, don't they? So then the other thing is they'd be getting the young men's email and they'd be selling the shoes. So it's kind of far out, it's kind of minority report-ish, but it's actually happening. And for a while you had to have like head-mounted devices to see augmented reality, so I kind of thought, I don't think people will walk down the streets of Chicago with head-mounted devices, but people will look on their cell phones for 